Before we dive into this episode, few warnings. This podcast may include tactical eye rolls, hunting fantasies, and the realization that we can still see you in your camo. Side effects may include and are not limited to a burning desire to fact check. For those who feel compelled, be prepared for an onslaught of unsolicited opinions and ones about as helpful as suggesting the use of a rubber chicken for target practice. If you experience symptoms like these or an inflated sense of self-importance, chronic sarcasm, or the need to explain jokes to others, please consult a sense of humor immediately. Remember, this is all in good fun. We're jumping into tripod week. I'm going to be talking about all things tripod. In order to do that, we have to have a common language. So let's look at some general tripod anatomy. I'm going to go through the features of tripods that I often use in my discussions, classes, and conversations so that we clear up any confusion. I call this thing on the top, when you're looking top down, the base of the tripod. I know it's at the top of it when we're using it, but we're going to refer to it as the base. On the base, there is a screw onto which you can attach ball heads, you can throw a bag over it, you can attach cameras, you can attach all sorts of things. Coming off of the sides of this base are leg hinges. These leg hinges have levers or pull tabs that you can pull out, you can reach behind and push out in order to make these legs change the angle that they secure themselves off of the base. It's very useful and this leg hinge is something that I use in conversation quite a bit. I refer to this as the leg hinge. There's three of them. They come off the sides and they allow us to change the angles of the legs as they fit or secure themselves. Coming down from those leg hinges, we start to have legs. I refer to the segments as legs. That's just what I use. The number of segments are less important than when I talk about the leg. I'm talking about the whole thing and it's the thing that comes off of the leg hinge. Connecting those are what I call leg locks. People call them twist locks. I've heard them call it other things. I call them leg locks. We might swap in the twist lock, so I put it up there. These twist locks allow you to extend and retract the length of the leg, and they're very useful when we're changing heights of your tripod to shoot from. Now, if we go to the end of the leg, the opposite end of the leg from the base, we have the feet. Those often have rubber bases. If you unscrew those, most tripods also have little metal spikes stowed away in there. If you want to use them, pull them out, screw them in the other way, bam, you've got metal spikes on those feet. These features are things that will be commonly discussed. So I want you to get familiar with the base, with the leg hinges, with the leg locks, with the legs, and with the feet. If you can manipulate those, screw around with how you can manipulate the leg hinge. You can pull them out. You can reach behind often and push them out. You can change the angle of legs individually. Likewise, you can change the length of the leg by messing with this leg lock. Some leg locks are at the bottom of the leg, the sections, and some leg locks are at the top of the sections. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can take a look at your tripod and see how you relate to these terms. These are the terms that I use. So we are making these the official rifle craft standardized terminology for our conversations about tripods.